John Cisna, a high school science teacher in Iowa, says he's been overweight a good portion of his life. I was obese, fat, overweight, whatever you want to call it, for the first 25 years of my adult life. Being a science teacher, he proposed an experiment to his students. Is it possible for a person to become better off eating nothing but McDonald's for breakfast, lunch, and dinner? And that's how the experiment got started. The kids were responsible for selecting the meals, all 540 of them. So it became a balancing act, 2,000 calories, but they had to be cognizant of all the nutrients that were in there. In six months, John lost 60 pounds, but also achieved some other health benefits. After the first 90 days of the experiment, I had lost 37 pounds, my cholesterol went from 249 to 170, my triglycerides went from 156 to 80, and the LDL went from 170 to 113. I had lost seven inches off my stomach, four inches off my hips, all eating what Morgan Spurlock has convinced the world is bad for you. John says that his experiments show that it's not where you eat, but what you eat. He says he also added in some exercise, just walking 45 minutes a day, four to five days a week. So exactly what foods did he eat as part of the experiment? For breakfast, they'd give me two egg white delights, a bowl of oatmeal and a 1% milk. Then for lunch, they'd change off between the uh, Southwest salad or the bacon ranch salad. They'd give me fruit and yogurt parfait with that and a couple bags of apples. And then at night, they would give me one of the different value meals, which means if I had a value meal, that means for 180 straight days, I had french fries. John says anyone can have weight loss and yes, still eat fast food. As in this experiment, high school students were able to do the math and figure it out. I'm almost 57 years old, and if I can do it at my age, I know there's thousands of people out there that I know they can do it too, but every time we try to throw the fast food industry under the bus, all that does is enable overweight people like me to say, see, McDonald's makes me fat, Burger King makes me fat. In all those years, McDonald's never made me fat, I made me fat. If you've been to a McDonald's lately, they have even posted the calorie count for each item on the menu board. In Ishpeming for ABC 10 and CW5, I'm Danielle Davis.